What's up, guys? I'm going to finally bring you that Anoki Potato Team. But first, there's just a few things to go over. And um, the Mountain Missions, apparently, I didn't notice this, but if you're in a team mode, you get 200% of the XP. So it is a lot. There's a huge difference. So definitely group up and do this. You can do it five times each day. And then you unlock yourself these kind of treasures, which is the treasures you have to basically go from map to map. And I did them yesterday, and I managed to get these. So I'll go ahead and show you. Basically, when you're in the treasure itself, you will see the icon of where it is in the map. And at the bottom in the gold text, it will tell you where it is. So this one is for five seal recruit. This one is indeed forest of the death. And you can just simply find it right here as five seal. There's forest of the death. So we're going to go here to the lower one. And you can pretty much get yourself scrolls for the actual tactics formation. Now, yesterday, people, uh, someone sent me this screenshot, which... They're pretty much saying that there's new outfits, but uh, there really is no new outfits. It's just pretty much, I guess, the banner or the art for the actual event that they are getting for it. So there's no new outfits, uh, but that's just one thing. Another thing I've been trying to save for the longest is pretty much this Orochimaru. Now, I completely forgot about this. Uh, Kenson showed me this a few days ago. And basically, the newest ninja in China is going to be the Akatsuki Orochimaru. And he did have a rough translation of the skills. But, I, you know, it got lost in the messages so far back. Although it does look like a standard attack will sweep, like, the entire front line. And he he just, you know, it's like Hatsuki Orochimaru. So, in Unlimited Ninja, he was in a very overpowered Vanguard. So, I'm hoping that he is he becomes just as overpowered in this game, or just becomes a very good ninja to use. But, Akatsuki Orochimaru would be cool to mess around with. Uh, that's the newest thing to China. But then, we have ourselves this kind of thing, which was just... I don't know how this is brought up. I don't know how I find these things half the time. Um, it just moves around the Discord, honestly. So, what this basically explains is how the Ministry of Gaming in China is going to crack down on companies that pretty much have to for like they have to give you the rates for the draws because they like even the Ministry believes that they have like they have fixed rates or the rates are uneven, especially when it comes to Western games. Like people were saying, basically, any Western game that isn't running different rates in China would have to share their setups. So, they even say it. Basically, it's a whole post. Alright, there's an entire contract. There is a lot of stuff to go through. And you can see, basically, he, he translated the most important parts. Online game publishers shall promptly publicly announce information about the game, property, content, quantity, and draw footage of all virtual items and services that can be drawn. So basically, anything that involves a loot box system, pulls, uh, summons, all these kind of things, they have to give you the information on what you can pull, what are the odds of pulling it, what are the rates, all this kind of stuff about it. And there's also the other thing where they have to basically keep a record. Like, the government will actually keep a record of, you know, the pull rates and the information that they give you. So, you know, it's pretty crazy. Because if Chinese companies start giving out informations, and if you can compare that to companies that go to Ameri uh, to English side, because once a company leaves uh, China, or they branch off into like just the, the global version, the English version, the global version always gets fucked, and it happens in every game. Literally happens in, what is it, um, like any game you can think of, especially mobile games. You have Japan. You have Japanese Doken. You have yourself with Japanese Brave Souls. You have so many things that just any a lot of games nowadays involve loot boxes, pull summon rates, and the rates are definitely not fair. Even if they're luck based, RNG based, they really are not fair. They mostly play against the player, and on like a one in a million chance, you might actually get something you want. So China enforcing that rule. Is definitely going to change a lot of things. People were also worried that certain games will close because of this. For instance, someone said that Naruto Online could close, but I personally don't see that happening. Um, maybe an Oasis Games would have to like do some stuff. If they actually release information about the pull rates because of this, that would be interesting to see what it ends up as. And it's deep in the forest of death, so... Oh, and a deep part, okay. So we gotta go inside of here. But, you know, I'll be curious to see what the pull rates are, because as most people can say, especially uh, Killia and I, you know, the game definitely feels like it's just rigged. Like, 
Personally, I think when it comes to a Lucky Ninja pack, and they have a Hashirama in the boxes, it is literally the starter pack for new players and new spenders in the game. There are so many people that just start, like, they recharge for the very first time, or they just go ahead and, you know, decide to start on a new server, go for the Lucky Ninja pack, and on the first Lucky Ninja pack, get a Hashirama. And, you know, it's definitely a, like, coincidences are too, too much, all right? If you're going to keep seeing these kind of things happen over and over again, the coincidences are real. But the treasure maps appear as gourds, and I didn't get any of the scrolls. I just managed to get these coins from it. But finally, we can go into the team we're using Potato Head. And, uh, you know, he, he is way too goddamn small. That is, like, the, that's the worst thing about having him in the formation. Uh, but this team... It's pretty much very strong, so what you do have is Anoki gives a barrier towards Earth, Wind, and Fire. Now you have Conan as a Wind type, you have Anoki himself as an Earth type, and then you have the Fire main and Toby as a Fire. So they all get the passive barrier boost. You have Conan's 30% boost to herself and Toby. Uh, then you have Genjutsu Mirror as well to boost on top of that. So, Kilio was saying that this damage could be higher than the Mei team. But of course I don't have I I don't have you know mood on an Oki. I don't have Max Awakens and Conan's also missing the Red Awakens. So there's a lot of stuff to go through. The team seems like it could do very well. Uh I'm really curious to see how you know Anoki works. Genjutsu Mirror is always clone jutsu, celestial prison feather, and then using the seal just because you don't really have the chakra game to put in a dragon flame. But let me just get rid of this Tauntaun so we get a little more stats. The team does fall short around like 30k or uh, 43k power because of that. Although I do kind of expect it to do very good. You know, if, if Kilia is telling me it can do more damage than the previous team, I want to see this for myself. And um, for the next few days, I will be having a hard time getting the videos. So I'll try to get a video out every day. But like I said, in case anything does pop up. Uh, I will probably try to let you guys know, or at least through Discord, I will try to let you know. I really just have a very busy schedule until I finish college, and it is uh, honestly not going too good either. So we get ourselves uh, missing one use. We could do one more set. And I forgot, oh, yeah, I get the seal fragments from here. And I personally just, this this monthly event, it doesn't motivate me enough to actually do all the stuff each day and each week. I just, you know, pretty much do it here and there. Uh, mostly because of this week. Like, I wanted to do a Bleach video, but I can't do a Bleach video until the next event reset now. Just because of all the stuff going on, I really just can't fit in my schedule. But I really want to see the capabilities of Mr. Potato Man. I I definitely think he's really good. You know, his just because he also has an interrupt as a standard attack. The only downside is that it could fail. But if he could just interrupt on the standard attack, not that he could probably interrupt anything, to be honest. Uh, unless they, like, freaking run somebody without a prompt <laughs> in the front in the front row, and there's no clone protecting you. But on top of that, he also gives somebody a chance to do a standard attack twice each round. So it's very good when it comes to Conan, because she can tag up two units. Um, Toby just does uh, good damage. Then you have the Fireman who has double sleep. And then Anoki has his double fail if he actually occurs. <clears throat> but overall, I really want to see this team. Uh, there's also like a great, great Ninja War setup team based on Anoki. It's pretty much the AoE version, which I'll probably, I don't know if I'll go over tomorrow or whatever. Uh, but let me just make some room. So we have to get rid of, I guess Itachi can go. And we can keep uh, Toby, Conan. Okay, so we're fine with that. Now, people keep asking still, is the sweeping and survival trial metal-based? No. The more you clear survival trial, pretty much the first 12 uh, fights for the first part, not the breakthrough, the more you clear it, the higher you can sweep up to. You can pretty much sweep up to the ninth one, and then you just have the 10th, 11th, and 12th to do. So just keep clearing this, and eventually you can start sweeping. Obviously, the more you do it, the higher up you're in the rankings as well for your server. When it comes to survival trial, it means the better off you're going to be. And it just really saves you time. So, <clears throat> you can pretty much run two variations of this formation. You can either run uh, Anoki on the on the second to last slot, or you could run Fire Main there. I pretty much put Anoki 
down here just because he has a 40 cost mystery that could actually make a difference while the fire main is just going to be there as a seal so that's pretty much the only thing i'm gonna have to automatically seal the sasuke because i have a feeling he's going to get the barrier off and it's going to pretty much stop that and there's actually wow the damage is actually there already first round it's oh my goodness all right let's see so i think yeah anoki managed to go twice oh wow that's 6k damage sleep though um so i guess we just go kill the we could kill the water main or we could go ahead and kill the kakuzu i pretty much say kill the water main now you could do kona mysteries or you could do tobi's either way works fine this if this is another formation that revolves around it pretty much revolves around the what should i call it um it revolved wow this is actually some really good damage in this team but this team evolves around Fuck, well, I can't think of it. Oh, uh, the Kirin Summon. The Kirin Summon is what you need for this lineup. It will pretty much give you like one to two more combos than the Gamaken would. But if you, you know, the thing is about the Kirin is that it's a very expensive summon and it's really not worth buying if you're only going to use it for like one or two teams. So you can pretty much still use the Gamaken. And, you know, surprisingly enough, the damage was there for the first team. That was a pretty good damage that was happening. I honestly, you know, I honestly didn't expect Anoki to manage to get that off twice and then at the same time pretty much did not uh, fail it because when I used Kunahamaru back in the day, when I used Kunahamaru, that was like so far, that was like so far back. Um, I used to use Kunahamaru like right before the 50 treasures with Kakashi, Iruka, Kunahamaru and Fire Main. Like that brings back the memories <laughs> and I remember <laughs> the double fail. Oh god, it, it was probably just because of the taunt, but at the same time, that was just hilarious. Like, oh god, that was really hilarious when it came. <laughs> wow, I'm just, I'm just shocked at that. Like, I witnessed the first hand of it going off. The team has very good damage. You know, it's a lot less chakra cost as well. So you, if you have really high stats, you can pretty much manage to win within the first three rounds. Um, overall, you know, Onoki is, is very good, since he utilizes three different types, as well as his mystery hits with three different attributes, you know, and he also has a, a pretty bomb-ass animation when it comes to that, so he hits with fire, wind, and earth, and he can hit up to nine targets, and then if he kills somebody, they can't revive, so, for Grin and Jawar, Onoki's very good, uh, May hits up to seven targets, but she does ignite them all, so, you know, I, I still just prefer May. Just because, you know, she's like hot and shit. I don't like Mr. Potato Head, but... You know, Potato Head actually actually is pretty strong. He's actually pretty strong. Let's just see. Now, oh, another thing is, since you have the shields on Toby and Conan, this team supposedly has more damage than the May team, and at the same time has more, um... How would I call it? Survivability? Yeah, it would have more survivability... So it's pretty much more of a balanced lineup, you could say. It's a lot more balanced. It will give you the survivability you need. Pretty much, it's going to be a lot better for survival trial. And, you know, the damn, rest in peace this, uh, rest in peace this, this fire main. But, you know, I just want to apologize, guys, because ever since it's finals week in college, I always get stressed out and, you know... A lot of things are on my mind while I'm getting this video out. So that's why it's going to put me very far behind. And I'm really trying to, you know, do the best of it. Finish up my semester. And then just look forward to only going to work and just spending time with my family. So that's the last thing, you know, since we're pretty much approaching. This Sunday is my last Sunday stream. Probably until January, to be honest. I think I'm going to be very busy when it comes to that. Uh, I really don't know what's going to happen. Like, since my family's going to be over from Poland for the holidays, I really don't think I'll have any time. I have barely time to do a video a day. So that's why I really do think it's going to be uh, rough when it comes to doing YouTube. But they're only going to be here for like two, three weeks, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, probably actually is going to be a problem. My cousin is the type of person that will just fuck around every time I try to do a video or something or especially when I'm on a phone call he'll just start like saying shit and 
Yeah, you, you just can't trust them. You just can't trust them. So, besides that, I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Uh, for whatever happens, you know, I'll be, I'll still be trying to do YouTube videos every day. That's going to be on my mind. But as far as doing streams, this Sunday will be the last Sunday stream for a long time. Which, you know, I, I don't mind doing the streams. It's fun to, it's more fun to do streams than it is to do videos. And that Conan damage right there was just pretty, pretty crazy. So the fire main has the potential to die at this point. Uh, oh wow, Anoki actually, he actually interrupted the fire main. He actually interrupted the fire main, wow. Now mostly I've been seeing him give double attacks to himself. I don't think I actually witnessed him giving double attack to anybody else in the formation. Or I might have missed it when he gave it to like Conan or Toby. Uh, I think that was like only one time where he didn't give it to himself. But I'm actually surprised to see his interrupt on his standard attack go off. Like that would be something I did not expect at all. So we got ourselves a lightning man that's going to be immune to debuffs. Um, let me just make sure it's immune in general. Oh, it's, is it immune? Or it was not going to pop up actually. Oh wow, it's not immune. Okay, so that makes it a lot easier. Pretty much, I might as well just kill the... Yeah, might as well go ahead and kill the lightning man. That'll make it the best. I would have probably put Toby in the slot where Conan is, just because I'm used to having a stag Toby. But since never really used the Conan to the point where she was the main focus of the team. And her damage is, is very well nice, honestly. Uh, she has a 65% ninjutsu mood, so she will be doing a ton of damage. Toby also has a 65% ninjutsu mood. Makes me really wish I had a 5-star Toby. But at the same time, I'm really not looking forward to getting the, um, the, what is it, the fragments now. Still cost a thousand per five in the shop. And, you know, the more time goes on, the closer it is to himself just getting nerfed. And I really don't want to spend all those coins to find out he got nerfed. But this team, you know, it has a lot of damage, whether it goes to anything. You know, standard attacks are dealing a lot of damage. You have yourself, um... The best thing is since you have a seal to stop other barriers. That is the most annoying thing about the Kage Treasure Ninjas. Is if not everyone runs passive barriers, you're still going to have to run somebody to stop the enemy barrier round one. But you know, Onoki is just... He's been putting in work. His standard attacks are hitting crazy hard. Like 4,000s with a standard attack. And he has a terrible attack growth rate too. So his standard attack hits with Taijutsu. But at the same time, it is very bad. It's like a 600 attack growth rate, while his ninjutsu is like 1400. So it's very bad. It's nothing too high. Nothing like it's just really bad. I mean, 600 attack. It's really much like. It seems like it's a very low part of his stats in general. Uh, and you know, at this point, I probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if if you guys do videos or at least long videos, you'll probably understand. But by the time I finish my YouTube video. And I upload it, I have no idea what I talked about today. That's that's just what happens when I keep doing my long videos. And it's just, it's it's rough, honestly, when it comes to that. So, doing these kind of things for college, finals week, is, uh, you know, it's a terrible thing. It just puts me through more stress. I remember last year, for last, like the last fall semester, could barely, I, I had like no sleep. I was pretty much going to all the classes with no sleep the next day, especially when it came to the, uh, the finals. This semester, I only have, I think, two finals next week. So it's a lot more lenient, but yeah, I'm really, I wouldn't say I'm I'm happy to go to college and I'm, I'm confident <laughs> in doing well. So at this point, it's like, you gotta survive. Try to pass everything. My Monday is the worst part though. My Monday is gonna get me really screwed up. So the main went twice and slept. That's 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 just a lot of damage. So alone, this team is doing a ton of damage. I don't know if it's more than the May. Um, I kind of assume it kills faster than the May team because the standard attacks alone will do a ton of damage. That is one thing I'm pretty much seeing is just the damage from standard attacks hits very hard. And then all the standard attacks that can get a double attack pretty much will all hit hard in general. So that's just something to consider, you know. I don't know. I would still prefer the May team just because it's May. But it does have less survivability. So this Anoki team potentially could be better 
Um, I remember Kilio was talking about this team to me yesterday, and at the same time, he gave the team to Waylord. So Waylord's been using it for the day, or if you guys don't know who Waylord is, it's a uh, Swaggy Swag. He's been using it yesterday. So he was even telling me, like, yeah, the team is, is doing really good. And, you know, I can tell you, this team is putting in work. Definitely worth using it for the Conan. Like, the Fire Main seems to be the focus in this formation, but it's really not that much of a deal. Oh, he still managed to survive a survival trial. And I think the fireman got a double sleep right now as well. So that's just going to be... You know, it's pretty good damage when it comes down to that. Uh, I'm always just like, damn, when it comes to fighting against enemy Tobys, though. Or Irukas or anything. Irukas mostly dodge. I don't know why. For Against me, they have a very high chance of dodging. And then Toby always dodges like the first ninjutsu-based attack. So you kind of need to go ahead and use your taijutsu on that. Um... Now I gotta use myself in an Oki. And he goes twice. Starts the combo up. Goes twice again. So yeah, you know, an has been surprisingly good today. For Mr. Potato Chronicle himself. He's actually pretty damn good. Um, There is the the only other an team I can think of. Or at least the one I have in mind. Is the Great Ninja War version of it. Which hits, it focuses on AoE damage. That's why this is pretty much a team for... Sage World Battlefield, Matsuri Challenge, single-handed PvP. And when it comes down to, like, like just a single team, pretty much. But there is a better Anoki version for just a group of enemies, a group instance, Great Ninja War. And, you know, the the Anoki team did put in work, though. I can say I'm not disappointed. Nice to clear survival trial with only the fire main dying in the last fight. And we can, you know, I'm still, like, one fragment away from Choza. That is the thing I'm going for at this point. Really trying to get myself to Choza. Uh, I need to end the video as well because I'm expected to leave somewhere. And then I will cover everything else. So we covered all these things. Oh, let me see. So I'm at 65 million coins now. I swear, my coins are going up like crazy every day. And it's just... Nine tails was yesterday. I got around like 3-4 three, three, million from that as well. So pretty much just going to keep stacking up the coins. I think I'm going to save the uh, the Inner Gates video for Tuesday or Wednesday next week because my family flies in on Tuesday night, so I can do another commentary Tuesday. Wednesday is probably going to be rough because the whole family is over, um, so I really have no idea how that's going to work out. But worst case scenario, I'll have the 8 Inner Gates video. 65 million coins is going up, so I wonder, it's probably going to be like 70 mil by the time I actually spend it. Uh, ninja exam has been done with, and that pretty much covers everything. I will have to give a Playboy Sasuke team, uh, maybe next week. Maybe next week I'll go to Winmain and try out the the Playboy Sasuke team that Aristius is using. But that covers everything for today. You know, this is definitely a, a Anoki idea. You can also, I would actually try to mess around with Anoki and the Sage Naruto in the future. But that's all for today. You know, I, I apologize. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys will try this team out if you do have Anoki, Conan, and Toby. But if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And, you know, just uh, have a great weekend.